Hey there, 4xE fans. It is December 27th, and uh, yesterday I was off from work and ended up doing some driving. Um, just did a lot of driving with uh, one of my sons, and um, as if you have following along with my videos in a previous one, it was really cold, and for the first time since March 31st of 2021, my Jeep went into fuel oil refresh mode, form is what we call it, and uh, it kind of resided in and out, kind of bounced in and out there while it was really cold. Yesterday it warmed up here a little bit in southwest Ohio. When I say warmed up, it was in the 20s Fahrenheit. And um, like I said, I was I did a lot of driving and then I got a tank of gas somewhere in that time period. I don't know if it was when we got gas because uh, the previous fill up was only, I don't know, a week before that and I was just filling up just to see what would happen. But um, I only got about six gallons worth of gas, but I think my form actually cleared right before I went and got gas. It was running and the message was gone from the, um, from the message display. And I was noticing that I was kind of operating in a normal hybrid mode where it would shut off at intersections. And, and so for probably 10 minutes before we went and got gas, I noticed I thought it had cleared. So I got gas anyway. My form cleared this morning. It was 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, Celsius. I'm sorry, I don't speak Canadian. So I, uh, it cleared and I was able to get electric mode and I just was able to go to work in all electric mode this morning. Now, of course, there is the price to be paid there that the engineers totally understood when they put this thing together. Um, the price that I paid is that I only got like 13 miles worth of electric range today before the gas engine started and I'm now on the road uh, going towards Cincinnati so I'm going to be pulling a lot of hybrid miles here but I am going to an Ikea which has free public charging so I will plug in when I get there but I just wanted to share the good news at least for my Jeep that it seems like it went in and out of form really quickly. I didn't get in and look. I do have an OBD scanner and I use JSCAN. I've not gotten good at it. If you want to see somebody who is just totally awesome at that, check out Tyler Foster here on YouTube. Um, he's got a lot of great videos about the, the PIDs and what you can look at in the... Uh, I'm not... I think he uses JSCAN. JSCAN. He might use Taser, but I think it's JSCAN. But uh, as far as getting in and looking at the codes, and I never got in there and looked while it was in form. I was actually going to do it last night. I was actually going to have the time to do it. Never got the chance to see it. And right now, I have zero codes. There's nothing in there. And now I haven't dug in to look the way he does. But um, I, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see the why behind it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that information. Um, also wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, I know it's been a few days ago, but I just wanted to wish anybody a Merry Christmas that I hadn't. And uh, I have no idea if I'm going to upload uh, a new video before New Year's, but Happy New Year. And, uh, you know, at the end of this year, I'm just thinking about how cool this channel has become because of the people who are following it. And, uh, you know, I think I looked at like 213 people followed this channel in the past 30 days or something like that. And I got to tell you, I, I place a value on that. I value every single person that follows this channel. And I, it's, it's quite humbling um, to think that that many people would follow this channel. So thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, and I hope I, I do well by you. I hope I uh, don't disappoint you in that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this channel. And Happy New Year. Take care.